waiting for a flight to Minsk and I just sat down at the only seat available here. It's a packed airport and I sit down next to Benjamin who is actually going to see and meet his biological family for the first time in Belarus. <laughs> and I just happen to have a little bit of experience with families and, and all that so it is incredible. 28 years ago, Ben was born in present-day Moldova, and at three months old he was gravely ill and his mom had to leave him at an orphanage for medical care. Then she found a job picking beets in present-day Belarus, and with the fall of the Soviet Union came new borders, and thus it was politically and economically impossible for his mom to return for him. And then Ben was adopted by a family from Utah and grew up there. Many years went by and many attempts at relocating his family failed until he received a message from a friend one day out of the blue stating that someone was looking for him. You see, Ben made a Facebook account using his birth name, Ruslan, just for fun a few years back and totally forgot about it. And then just a few months ago, his brother searched and found it and contacted the only friend he had on that account. After DNA confirmation, Ben flew halfway around the world and is about to meet his mom and his siblings for the first time. The anticipation, the anticipation, they are literally right through that door, right there. But first, let's wait for the bags. Catch up on some Russian, man. Catch up some Russian. Let's see what, here. What are you going to say to them? What's the first thing you're going to say? Uh, SIM card. <laughs> Cut. SIM card. <laughs> what? SIM card. SIM card? Yeah, I need one for my phone. <laughs> That's the first thing you're going to say to them. Uh, yeah, hey guys, how's it, how's it going? <laughs> like you're carrying a child. Do you look like the child you should get out of here. <laughs> you do. <laughs> You've been staying here? Yeah, this is where I've been staying. Wow. So this is your TV, huh? TV, I've not turned it on yet. Oh, that's good. That means you're having a good time. Yeah. You don't turn yeah. it on. Right? This is where my mom and sister sleep. 
Okay. Okay. Um, my brother sleeps back there. Okay. He's just got a couch that pops out into a bed. Right. This is the bathroom. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah. right. Let's go to the market today. I mean, it's it's strange to an extent. I mean, this is the first time I've ever seen them, so it's not strange in that aspect. But in the aspect that I don't really get to spend a whole lot of time with my family over in the States, yes, that, that is a little bit different. Yeah. Is it unusual for them to just kind of like, or for you guys to just sit and stare at each other at times, that really wanting to say something but you really can't? Um, at first, at first it was, um, I'd be eating, eating yeah. and drinking something and they just sit there and stare at me. Just yeah. watching. Yeah, they're like, yeah. Seeing how I eat. Yeah. Cause you're, and, I, and I'd look up and I'd be like, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Because your mom last saw you when you were three months old. Yeah. Wow. What were your first thoughts of America? Do you have any memories of that? Um, I remember on the plane ride over, um, I had never tasted butter before. Uh, I went around on the plane ride and asked people for their butter. And I just ate it whole. That was my first time trying it. Butter's you know, a little bit sweet. Вот есть. Сейчас вам попробовать. Сейчас я вам Did mom always talk about me? Мама всегда говорила обо мне. Yes, да. Мне было лет 8, когда я узнал. I was eight years old when I found out. Where did you guys think I was? I always thought you were in Romania. Or Moldova. Mm -hmm. That used to be the same country. Throughout the years, did either one of you think that you would ever find me? If I did not believe, I would not be looking. Let's run through that that time again when, you, when the doors kind of opened mm -hmm. at the airport, right? And you saw her right away, mm -hmm. right? And she just clung on to you, hugged you, what was going in your mind? Because from the looks of it, it just seemed like you were just completely blank. When people get that emotional, I tend to freeze. I don't know what to do when people do that. How did you both feel the first time you saw me at the airport? It is inexplicable, but it seemed to me that you must hug him because I have not done this all my life. It's very unexplainable. This is very inexplicable. Inexplainable. This is unrealistic, but I cannot explain. Right here. Wow. How did you feel when Senya told you that he may have found me? I felt very badly myself. I could not talk and I could not believe and numb the brush. So she felt very guilty um, that she had even done it in the first place. Um, she uh, says she felt very numb. T t tell, her, tell her not to feel guilty because... We, and we, 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 we've talked about this several about times. Yeah. Yes. This could have been more or less your... My your past. Life. Your life. This, yeah. This could have been your present. Yeah. Do you feel emotional though about it, or is it just like you don't think too much about that? Well, no, no. I mean, I don't think about that a whole lot. I mean, she asked me. She said, "Why didn't you try and look for us sooner?" And I said, "I believe me. I mean, we tried looking for years and years and years, and we couldn't find anything because we didn't have a whole lot of information to go off of." Um, and it basically ended with me telling her, you know what, it's in the past, you found me now, you got to put that stuff behind you, and not forget about it, but just move forward, you know, so I, I would say that right now, I don't sit there and think all day, man, this could have been my life, I, I understand that now, you know. We hope that you will soon get married, 17th. 
to wow. Be. When you got married? Yes. Holy oh, Wow. I would be very beautiful just... <laughs> you were very beautiful when you were... Seven. Yeah, but I was very beautiful. I was very beautiful. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I started that. eating a lot. <laughs> you will soon retire and do not get married. <laughs> you will soon need grandma to go. Shut up. No, no. Shut up. <laughs> he knows what that means. It's going to be tough though, right? It's going yeah. to be tough to kind of meet them, spend all this time, yeah, and then just leave London. And just leave. Yeah, it'll be tough. Tough for me. Um, I'm sure it'll be tough for my mom, for my family, you know. It's going to be really tough. But what can you do about that? Just reassure. Just make sure that they know that I'm coming back. That this isn't indefinite. Who is her favorite son? <laughs> Who is your favorite son? <laughs> Ruslan. The Ruslan oh, boy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's because you barely know me. Wait until you get to know me. This is my blood. This is where I come from. From these people. They're just like me. Where I've never had that before, I immediately clung to that idea. And so that made, that makes it easier. We dream about being close to each other all the time. What would you recommend if, if there are people out there watching this, and I know there are, all yeah. over the world, right, in search of their own family? Right. What would you recommend? I would say forgive yourself and forgive others. And just put it in the past. Let the past be in the past. Cherish the opportunity to find your relatives um, and spend time with them. And if you can't, um, cherish the time and opportunity with the relatives that you have now. One day I just got a message on Facebook and said, hey, well, here you yeah. are. So here you are, right? brother. Yeah. Here you are, sitting next to your brother and uh, sister, and mom. sister, and mom. And mom. And mom cutting, uh, garlic. cutting garlic for you. Yeah. yeah. So. so, thank you, Facebook, for yesterday. Yeah, thank you, Facebook. <laughs>